Hello, it's Wednesday the 27th of October and I've got the same jump on, Shakti Kali Kaloxi, not doing a talk on fashion, <laughs> uh, which is what I trained in actually in 1977. I trained in London at the College for the Distributive Trades. What I want to talk about tonight is how heavy the energy is oh my god and how more than ever more than i've ever known in my entire life like normally you'll get like a big piece of news once a week or twice a week there's a big story it's like literally if you go on to wherever one of the one of the um, channels that you're on there's breaking news and massive news coming in as normal news like every every minute or from all over the world so it's overwhelming and I've got to the stage now where I just really need to be right away from it and just taking care of my body. I've been feeling very, very sleepy on and off for several weeks now. I need a lot of sleep and the last few days has been particularly heavy. Luckily, I say luckily, two of my clients cancelled this week. Um, and uh, I'm really having to take some time out just to be very, very quiet and peaceful. And for so many of you who are really trying to up your self-care a little bit, I'll just give you an example. A friend of mine uh, has my Ziggy Bear sometimes looks after him. And he was just saying to me how he had bought this big bottle of uh, mayonnaise from Amazon. And, you know, it was the same price as a, as a bottle, you know, th th that's about a fifth of the size. And I looked at the ingredients knowing what they would be. And, and then he said, but I've got a healthier one in the fridge. It's a vegan one. Well, I knew immediately, I knew that the vegan one would be really unhealthy. And I was right. The vegan one was 75% rapeseed oil, which is absolutely disgusting thing to put in your body. The big, yucky, cheap one was only 24% rapeseed oil. The one that I buy is organic and it's sunflower oil. I would never choose to put rapeseed oil in my body. So if everybody can make little shifts towards their health, someone like me who, who everybody thinks is fit and healthy because I have been teaching fitness and exercise for over 30 years, but actually the truth is that I came into exercise and fitness through trauma, which took me into PSD, chronic fatigue, even as a personal trainer, I would often sit down whilst training my clients. I would spend months in bed. Um, you know, I really fought through a very, very, very difficult time on and off for 15 years. And I'd have periods of time where I was just absolutely exhausted. And then I got ulcerative colitis. So I've had to take care of myself, but I've never wanted to take medication. I've never wanted to take any kind of medicine, which I did for about four or five years until I realised I could do this myself with with taking care of my body. So those of you who are newly wakened up are gonna have lots of things going on. One of the things I'm hearing a lot from people is that they're newly waking up to what's happening and they're desperately trying to wake everyone else up around them. Now, I was in that place just over a year ago. I gave up, like I was doing it 10, 20 years ago, but was just considered a conspiracy theorist and a nut job. But certainly sort of 18 months ago after the initial, because originally I thought, what the hell's going on? I didn't put two and two together. I didn't put that it was what I'd already talked about for many, many, many years that this was it now happening, what we talked about. But then it became evident that it absolutely was. And of course, has played out to the T. So for those of us that have been going on about this for, for, for the whole two years or however long it's been, 20 months or whatever, um, it really is time at some level for you to step up your self-care, your self-love, your self-nourishment and to spend your energy allowing those who now are woken up to share with others and for you now to step to the next level. And, it, and when I say the next level, you know, it's not a better level. It's just a greater awareness. So you have to connect more to your true self because ultimately what it means to awaken is to awaken to your divinity, to awaken to Christ consciousness, to unity consciousness, that we are all one. And that changes everything. And it's not the world that we have been brought into. It's not the world that we have lived in our whole lives and for so many lives before. 
And for those of us who are old souls and who are able to just watch what's going on, and at the same time, be in our very human body and be out there on the front line and be the, you know, the warrior of light and the freedom fighter. For those of us who have seen and see, it's also a very, very challenging time that we must really, really, really take care of ourselves. You know, I, I, I know somebody who, who woke up and then she woke her partner up. And that partner now, since he woke up very recently, is waking up at two o'clock in the morning and can't go back to sleep. And all of these symptoms of either ascension symptoms or of just suddenly, suddenly realizing that the world that you've been living in is not what you thought it was. And that everything that you have been taught is a lie. That in itself is so massive on the on the immune system, on the nervous system, on the relationships that you have with people. You know, you will be falling away and moving away from long-term friendships and even family. And it doesn't mean that we stop loving people. It just means that we have to really honour where we are at and, you know, and, and not create division, you know, not try and force people to wake up. It's difficult when you can see what's going on and those you around you that you love are, are getting double vaxxed and then getting really ill. And it's really hard. We are the minority. But also we are very fortunate and very lucky that we have the awareness, that we have the opportunity, as does every human, to step more deeply and more powerfully into our authentic self into who we really are and that is what you need to focus on now that is what you're being called to do if you're finding the, the heaviness of the third dimension getting too much for you move your focus move your attention bring it back into the higher frequencies the fifth dimension that is here now for you and don't get caught up in this massive drama that's playing out because if like me you can really see what's going on and i'm talking really see and some of you who are listening to these words will not have even allowed yourself to meet the part of you that can really see if my words speak to you every single day now is an opportunity for a tiny 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 shift to be and connect more to who you really are and that might even mean changing your mayonnaise to organic so that you're not pumping loads of rapeseed oil into your body or it might mean that you have a fucking kundalini awakening and are orgasmic and shaking and shuddering and ecstatic and dancing and enjoy because all of these different stages of awakening are an incredible experience for you to have and my mentorship 2022 is going to be supporting you in your awakening. So if you are awake to the tyranny and the lies, you have now stepped into your sovereignty to birth the truth, the truth of who you really are. And beauty begins the moment you remember who you really are. Mwah. Have a great night.